All right, I'm going to show you how to set up the spark timer to do the motion sensors. So first of all, I have the motion sensor here. It's got this little knob here, and I just put a, a ring stand right through it. I'm probably going to take and put some sort of a um, one of these large clamps right here on it, so that way if a kid bumps it, it doesn't just destroy it. Anyway, and then I'm going to move this over here so hopefully we can hear something, or I guess I could put tape on that. So here's a spark. I'm going to go ahead and put the... Um, power cord in here, one-handed. This only goes in one way. It doesn't really matter which one I put in. I'm going to do the left one just because. Then, turn it on. I'm going to kind of do this from an angle because I don't want to get that reflection from the, the light. Uh, now there's the other way. And, is it coming on? I can edit this out. Okay, and this will take a while, so I'm gonna pause here and come back when it's still loading, still waiting. All right, it just came to this screen right here, and let me go over here and see if you can hear this. It's actually putting out a signal. That means we know it's working. All right, so now, here's what I'm gonna do next. Um, I'm, I wanna see a position graph first. I'm gonna push on position, then show, and this right here will show me my graph. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and you're gonna hear, now I could change this periodic from 10 to 20, I don't remember what this is like right now, but it's probably fine. So I push this, you can hear it clicking, then I'm gonna move backwards, stop, move forward, stop, and look over there, oh, there it was. Okay, so there's what I just did, notice, I went forward, stopped, came back, etc. Now, if I want to make this thing bigger or something, um, I can go like this down here. It's not a pinch. That makes it go out that way. This extends um, extends the uh, um, screen, the uh, uh, numbers on that side. And again, I would do. I'm going to do this with a a kid uh, with a piece of cardboard, so that's nice and flat. And I would have them hold there for a while. Okay. There's our position graph. If I want to uh, change this or I want to do another one, I push down here where that, manage data, manage runs, delete last run, etc. cetera. Um, well, let's go ahead and do this. We can do this again, delete run. Do you want to delete it? I'm going to say no, because I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually use what we just did to save time. Now, what if I wanted to see the velocity graph of this? Over here, see how it has a graph picture? Yeah, see the graph picture? Going to click on that. And over here, different kinds of graphs. Well, I'm gonna change that from position to velocity. Ah, there it goes. And you'll notice that's, that's pretty raunchy. That's really not that good. But notice up here, we have a positive velocity, and down here we have a negative velocity. Again, you can go back to the position graph. There you go. Um, by the way, the acceleration graph, you remember how you saw how bad the uh, Velocity graph was chance of the acceleration graph being something you can actually read with the kids, not likely.